but uh, I think we're headed in the right direction. I think uh, we had a good attitude, a good demeanor in practice, and that carried over to the game, and uh, we got started fast, and then uh, we played a good team today. I mean, I give them credit. They're a well-coached team, very physical, played hard, and so uh, it's a good, uh, good day. Uh, just uh, getting uh, Tim more involved in that process because he can see a little better. So maybe having him help more in the passing game, and, you know, kind of uh, his vision, making uh, more suggestions and, and rolling with him. You know what I mean? And then when we were going tempos, sometimes it's easier to see everything when we go faster from up there. So we just. We involved Tim back a lot more. Coach, is there any emphasis on big plays? You guys had five or so over 20 yards. Is there any emphasis on that in practice this week? Not really. I mean, that's we want to be explosive on offense. We have explosive players, so we're trying to create that. Uh, we missed a few, so we would have liked to have a few more. I mean, but uh, as you know, we have some skilled athletes who. You know, to do that, you got to execute the, the throws a little better. I mean, maybe run a little cleaner route, maybe protect a little better, and you know, maybe a little more accuracy. Was, was the protection better today? Uh, I thought so. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> also talked about Braxton's the, the importance of developing Braxton, getting in the football. Uh, yeah, he's an important piece offensively because his skill set. He understands our offense and uh, he can do a lot of things. So, you know, when you have a guy like Braxton and he, he's made the commitment to this program to stay for another year and help us in any role possible, we're trying to find ways to use him to help us win games and uh, help him. And he uh, he's, he's a hard worker too and a good kid and very team oriented. And uh, so we're just trying to find ways that he can help us uh, make plays. What's it like in the last couple weeks in the background? Well, it's frustrating because everybody assumes that, you know, after seven months you just pick up where you left off, and that isn't the case. I mean, there's new pieces on the coaching staff, there's new pieces on the offense, and, uh, you know, so things change, and you're never the same, and you have to earn your way, and you have to develop a team, and every team and every season is different. So nothing we did last year is helping us win any games this year. It's all based on what we did in the offseason, what we did in summer, and what we do to grow as a football team moving forward. So uh, we all understand that. I mean, that's not necessarily what everybody else understands, but we uh, we get that as coaches, that uh, you don't pick up where you left off. You start from scratch and build a new team, and we're in that process. So in, uh, on an upward climb. Do you think the offense is where it needs to be going into Big Ten play? You know, non-conference is done, four games down, as far as the progression? I think that uh, we have room to get better in all areas. But uh, I think we started to see some things come together today that were exciting. And I think if we keep pushing, um, that uh, we'll be where we need to be when we need to be there. Nick, a couple more questions. 